Hello strangers on the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, fit one of these now. I'm gonna um, sort of strip out the glove box and then I'm gonna try and find a space. And I'm gonna run the power off the light sensor relay that runs in underneath the glove box as well. So it saves a bit of uh, feffing around because obviously that's running from the car battery or the van battery anyway. So if I split out from there, then I've got charging points and everything like that. So I'm going to create a template. I've got that ready to go. And then it's just a matter of stripping out the glove box, putting everything out to one side, slicing the cable, attaching that, and then um, sort of making massive holes for to host this and make sure I get it the right way around. Um, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, first things first then, we're going to use the bendy, trust me, get yourselves one of these, these are amazing, link in the description and all that crack, they're tightened up, now the reason for that is it means I can get into these little screws down here, and all down the sides here, so I've already started taking a couple out, because I'm speedy like that, I'll change that head, and also there's a screw just under there as well so make sure you get that out and that will release everything that releases that catch and the glove box is halfway out already let's get this turned on boom boom two Disconnect that. That's it, glove box out. Less than five seconds. Well, 30. Okay, so I'm gonna splice this here. So you've got your positive and your negative. Uh, it'd be interesting to find out which. Though to be fair, it does look a bit thin. And there's many more positive and negatives here that could possibly make use of, actually. So that makes more sense. So if I split there, that's definitely a positive and negative. Now, where do I fit this? I'm thinking if I can get... Ah, there's only sound deadening in this space here. So I can get my hand in. I could easily wire it up. But what about up here? I'm thinking maybe this level here. Ignore this shape. Okay, batteries and stuff. Right, so maybe here. Let's have a feel. Let's get my hand in there. Now there is an air vent, oddly disconnected from. Oh, yes. I can feel there's an air vent disconnected there. It's a bit shit. So. Looking great. So, yeah, hang on. Let's get my hand in here. She said to the vicar. Yeah, now that's underneath there is just sound deadening and insulation. So that would make an unholy shitstorm of a mess. But under here, definitely. So this is the point I'm going to put it in. That way she can run a cable. What else says she? I mean, the missus. She can run a cable and throw a phone into there. Or I might get snazzy and get another phone holder. You know, why not? So I'm going to snip these cables here I don't know where they go to but there is a bit of slack oh, bit of shade. So there's one there and one there not sure that what they run and while I'm under here I'm going to reattach the vent to this so without further ado let's get snipping so at this stage basically what I'm doing is Preparing the uh, the eBay purchase, the the sockets and everything. So the the wiring is pretty stripped back. Everything's connected where it's supposed to be. But there was a little bit of confusion in that one of the the black leads 
doesn't actually match what you need it to do so there was the two packages had slightly different wiring but anyway we'll come back to that in a second so I'm back at the van um, under the glove box and as you can see there I've decided to strip the thicker wires the, the positive and the negative so I'm just basically curling them around and then putting on spade connectors so that I can attach the device once I've got it all wired and the spade connectors corresponding on the other side and bring that back to the van so it's now it's now it's time to marry them up together and to see if we have power coming through into the device and to make sure that I've got it wired correctly and I've put all my spade connectors in the right spot so you can see that I've created a Y connector one to continue back the power where it was originally going and then the negative here to go through and then obviously I need to feed that negative back into the van to wherever that was going also so I'm just getting that wired in it's a bit fiddly a bit stiff because these are new and I've been sat around so you can see there I've got power problem is I can't turn it off now I don't know why that is at this point so I'm just faffing around making sure I've got them in the right cables now I'm not great with electrics I understand the principles but the practicalities are another thing so I'm scratching my head here why is that not turning on off sorry I'm just flicking it on and it's just constantly on so now I go back to the drawing board and find the other cable which has more connectors on it that will connect the negative to the off switch which is what I should have done in the first place ah bugger I've pulled it off I have to redo the spade on that connector it's, they're quite stiff and they just sort of tear apart now this is where I cock it up disconnecting the old lead that was in the other pack I'm going to use the new lead however what I've not done is I've not put the positive and negative on the on and off switch in the right place so as I start to do this connect the negative and I connect that pop I blow the fuse haven't realized it yet oh no sorry I haven't popped the fuse just yet and what I do is this is where I cock it up oh there you go bang so the positive has caused a loop and buggered it fuck's sake so I shouldn't have changed the polarity that was an idiot fucking rookie mistake so now I need to go and find out which fuse it was I've blown I'm going to have a think about this wiring because obviously the switch isn't working so I don't know whether it's ah do you know what it should have gone to a fucking neutral um, I should have earthed it that would have been the switcher right okay let's go sort this out okay so I've worked out what I've done wrong okay I'm an idiot what I should have done is have live going to here into this port and live coming out which is the switch so if it disconnects it disconnects it why I switched the polarities I do not know which is why it fizzed so now I'm going to go um, connect you can't see it because it's down here I'm going to reconnect another spade on these because it fell off I'm shit at this and um, find out my blown fuse test it again and I'll, I'll bring these back just to prove that I'm not a complete klutz Don't let the record show I'm a complete klutz um, and then we'll start making holes into the dashboard and feeding all this in properly and nicely and tidily um we're well, no bed see you in a minute okay i went through all the fuses and it wasn't that it was this this there's a there's a five amp fuse in there all right so it looked fine but when i looked when i took it out and held it up against the wall it wasn't so i've got a spare live out here um i probably won't use it but it's there anyway and i can always spread that out so now now it's working switch it on the on position you see there USB 12.5 volts now that is coming directly from the engine so that's good that's good I'm happy I've got that information this is a normal socket and then obviously the rock and roll switcher so that is working now next stage then is to stick it into here now i've got the other plate let me just go get it oh it's there happy days 
turn that off. So it sits semi flush about there. Um, so that's going to be the marker. I might, might as well stick it in the center. It'll sit there and we'll get it screwed in tight. And we'll crack on. See you in a minute. Let's get this drilled. So I'm going to load this. So I'm just going to sell tape it onto the dashboard and then I've got it more or less where I want it. I'm just going to go by line of sight to be honest because I'm a professional like that. Have some two camera action. Now I'm only putting this template on because I'm going to use this uh, hole punch, okay? So what it does is, it's not a hole punch, it's a set punch. So I'm just going to push it into the original holes and that'll give a dent onto the plastic. Same tool that you used to break your windows. So they're just on there. Give me another doofer. Okay. Next tool I'm using then is this. I think it's good for metal. Um, can't remember why I bought it, but I do have it. So I'm just going to stick this on the drill and I'll take it up to uh, 28 mil. So we'll go get the drill for that. Oh, it's here. Okay, to be fair, I am a little bit nervous. Um, so here we go. Oh, uh, I don't know if you can see that on this other camera. Should stick my hand up underneath to see if I am impacting anything though. No. to 28 let's go get a device and see if it fits I'll use one of the spare ones I have back in it so just as a tester yeah not fitting so one more hole oh pulled stuffing out that might happen. Stick this in. Oh, slots perfectly. Okay, next one. Let's get this stuff in out of the way. Next one. Oh. For that next one straight in for a penny and for a pound. Right. Shit ton of mess. I'll just check for size again. Yeah. Yeah, nothing impedes it at the back. Okay. Happy with that. Let's get these. Disconnected and get the brackets. Oh, fucking hoovering up for all the, for eternity. Let's just get one of these brackets in and use the holes. And we'll just screw, get the screws in, fire it on. Do the opposite way, Darren. You know, bed. And then um, we have a console charger doofer thing. 
Oh, nice. Screws. Screws. Not bad. So I'm back. Now, at the rear are threads that you stick in at the back. So you line, you get this mount in, and then you thread your devices through, and then you're good to go. Sorry about that. Right, bracket, screw number one. Let's use the hole punch for safety reasons. So it keeps everything perfectly aligned. <coughs> Cracking too. It just stops your nails um, spinning out of control and scratching your, your dashboard too much. So let's screw number one on the Ryobi drill. This video isn't sponsored today by Ryobi. So I wouldn't mind some of that cash. Bang tidy. It's always nice when you get the perfect screw head. Yeah, everything I've really done so far this van has been up front, apart from the insulation. This is stuff you normally do when everything else is finished and you're just faffing about because you're addicted. But for me, I'm just problem solving. That looks smart as shit. Right, so let's disconnect this. Um, let's just disconnect the mains first. I don't want to pop another bloody fuse. So to take all this apart, making a note of how it all works remembering to use this one because it has a good 5 amp fuse on it which is a surge protector so I'll get all this out pliers oh. pliers come on you twat This is where simple mistakes, as you've seen earlier, can be avoided. So the last thing you want to do is break the bloody thing and then have to go back and grovel to the shipper and say, yeah, fucked it again. And it's completely my fault. Any chance of another one? And there we go. Uh -oh. You pay. Right, so. Okay, so this is the. Let's sit all the way back. Right, so this was my live feed. And we'll go. Should we put them. Ah, let's put the. Let's put the on and off in the middle. No, don't be dickhead. Let's put the 12 volt. And we'll feed that through first. Positive, negative. And we'll have then control of the cable rather than trying to get around it. Hope you can see this on the other camera. Should have checked, but we're committed now. And it's getting dark. <laughs> so we're going to feed that cable through so we have control over it. Some control. Oh no, right, and the second thing I need to do actually is feed the cable around these brackets. 
otherwise we're doomed. So I need to feed, get this in around the back. I don't think it matters which side's which. I'm going to have a second look. No, they're identical. Hi. Do you come here often? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. Now. I'm gonna feed them into here and I drop the fucking lip. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, drop the loop again, start again. Okay. So we have the loop in place and we have the joints positive and negative. Negative first, just confirming on the back of these it does have their corresponding polarity signs. If there's no guesswork. It's fiddly as fuck. There isn't any finger room merely in this space which is still better than the other space I was hoping to use and I should in theory have made these a way longer oh the stress right line up it is literally suck it and see it just can't is that it? <laughs> oh, you bastard, have I got it? I think I got it. I think I got it, people. I got it. I actually got it. Okay now, right. I am sweating. Right. Now, hand back in to do the dial. The tensioner, the back screw, whatever you want to call it. Now the negative from there, the USB socket, there's the positive. So the other end of that negative really should be longer. Is that you there? I'm gonna bring you down. Yay, negative. So I can attach this straight away. And what I'll do is I'm just going to, can I do a quick test? Yeah, you can. Let's do just a quick test. Let's make sure everything's tickety boot. Oh, hang on a minute. That's the, you're no bed. Where's my fusy bit? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm just checking to see if I've blown this bloody flues. No. So something's gone awry in there. So I'm going to take out the USB and see what I've done. Which is not good because this is hard as shit. 
Oh, I thought I got the positive. I obviously didn't. <sighs> negative. <laughs> I've got a longer positive spare here, so let's just use it. Cable for this is in here. Just going to closing. Need to feed it through a ring first. So I've got my ring. I don't, how, I don't know where the other one's gone. Must have dropped it. Oh, there it is. Found it too. That's because I've got a spare, obviously, because the supplier. Right. So I need to build this back. This switch. It just slots in really. There's not a great deal to it. To be honest. You wanna go up or down? Up for on. Making the house. House lights. Right, so red cable. Don't need to worry about the black cable for the on-off switch, because obviously what we're doing is doing the live feed. So, I just need to get both of these through. So I can attach this one already. Now I'm just doing a sample test to see which one's which. Here, buddy. You have to be really good with your fingers. Right, so I'm feeding that through. I have that in that position. Let's see if on. Perfect. So we're in the right polarity. And unplug this. Alright, so it's threaded through the hole. Uh, what do you call it? Thread at the back. Let's just connect this. I'll find that ring in a second. And get it onto the thread. <sighs> okay, second camera's died. Come back to me in a minute. <sighs> Fiddly jobs. I mean, they're, they're not easy. They, they really aren't. And you need the time to do it. As I've been at this for probably about, not even joking, about an hour, an hour and a half. Will anybody appreciate it? No. Will anybody give a shit? No. Will my wife be happy that she's got her own USB socket to charge her phone when we do long trips? Yes. Um, and it's, you know, it's better to charge when you're driving. It really is, because your, your car's with a split charger, that's charging your leisure battery, which I have yet to fit. And you can charge devices and just let the engine do the work. Um, but you don't want it also to drain your batteries, which is why I was insistent on getting the sweet on off switch. So there you go guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna put the glove box back together. You don't need to see that drama and have a quick hoover up and clean up and tidy up and put everything away and then clear that memory card because that camera has done some work today. All right guys, and uh, so till the next time, which will be to who, I'm not even saying when because uh, like I say, I'm working this, I'm off this week. So the next video will contain me getting the rock and roll bed 
in, uh, get it built, because it came in two parts from a supplier on eBay, and get it built, get it in, get it set down, get it on bolts, get it in, and then I can size up what I've got left for my cabinetry, which is probably just going to be an IKEA kitchen. Uh, probably a 37 centimetre jobby. Um, because there's just not much room in it. 38 centimetre, I think it is. 37, 38. And I just want to make sure I've got enough space. And then uh, I start buying those and get the leisure battery and the electric started. And then just put the thing back together. And I'm going to do... I've got a friend who might... I'm going to approach to see if he build me an overhead cabinet. Um, but for now, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I just want to get this bloody thing done. Get the sink in. Da, 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 da. So tonight I'm going to have a glass of wine and watch some YouTube videos of you guys and see what you've done so that I can learn and hopefully not make the same mistakes that you may have done because I'm a bit of a klutz. So, like and subscribe. Any comments, uh, any, anything you want to ask me, use the comment section below. Uh, if you didn't like the video, hit the like button twice and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.